everybody! Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. So we are starting to get closer to the holidays and I love making crafts and things that I can put around the house for the holidays. One of the things that I made last year that I really, really loved were tree skirts. I made a Halloween tree skirt to go below my Halloween tree, which this year as it starts getting closer to Halloween and I put it up and put it together, I'm going to do a little video and show you all of the things that I bought, um, most of which at the dollar store or the Dollar Tree, to decorate a really, really cool Halloween tree. Let me show you, though, how to make a simple tree skirt. You can make it for any holiday. If you put up a tree for Valentine's Day or if you just want to make a different or new tree skirt for Christmas, this is a way to do it as well. So obviously you'll go to the craft store, the fabric store, and pick the fabric that you like. For the, tr the tree skirt that I'm going to make today, the fabric that I chose, I chose ghosts and pumpkins. But let me show you on a smaller scale how simple it is to make a tree skirt, even if you just want to use one piece of fabric. So you're going to want it to be fairly square, and you're going to fold it in half, and fold it in half again, so that these creases match perfectly. The tree skirts that I'm going to make are, they'll have a 28 inch diameter and a 14 inch radius. And the reason that that's important for you to know is when you decide what you would like the diameter of your tree skirt to be, in order to make a tree skirt this way, I need to then know what the radius is, which for this is 14 inches. For the one I'm doing right now, it's only going to be a couple of inches because I'm just making a small sample of a tree skirt just to show you how easy it is to make. So if you were making a 28, a tree skirt that has a diameter of 28 inches and the radius is 14 inches, then this string needs to be 14 inches long. And the reason for that is you would then put the needle in the very, very point and then you're going to use this chalk to make an outline. So I'm gonna switch hands here. I'm gonna hold this here. And I'm gonna hold my fabric so that I can then draw with my chalk. It's easier on a bigger piece because I can be on the floor holding it down, but this will work for what I'm trying to show you. You're then gonna cut it out And this will be the shape of your tree skirt. So the way I did my pieces here, I used two different pieces of fabric. I used a ghost fabric and a pumpkin fabric and a ghost fabric and a pumpkin fabric. I liked the look of having each corner be something different and you can do this with any holiday. Use your imagination, and they're really, really easy. Once you get to this point, you're just going to put the right sides together like this, and I just did one at a time. I put the right sides together. I used some little pins and pinned the edges like this, all the way down, and then I stitched this edge together. Once this edge was stitched together, I opened it up to see that then this piece goes here, and I put the right sides together again. And I pinned it, stitched along this edge with my sewing machine. I just did a simple straight stitch. Once this edge is stitched, I opened it up again and put my last piece on, right sides together, and did the same thing, pinned it, stitched it, and then you always want to leave one edge open so that it can go around your tree. So then you can just hem this edge nicely. You can hem around the outside as well if you want that to work nicely, and then you will have a final piece like this. 
The last step that I did for my Halloween tree skirt is I took a piece of fleece. You can use any color you'd like. I just used a dark charcoal gray. But this is just a, an example of the type of fabric I used. The reason I use this is because it's nice and thick and soft and so it helps it hold its shape. And that's what I used to stitch my edge around the edge of my tree skirt. And it made a nice edge. And then on this edge here, I stitched it up. And this is the opening so that it can go around my tree. Halloween tree. The other thing that I haven't done to this yet, but you could do if you want to make sure that your edges stay closed or on top of each other, once you put this around your tree, is you could put some uh, Velcro along this edge and Velcro along this edge so that you're sure that they overlap and close nicely around your tree and you don't ever have to worry about it coming undone until you're ready to take it off again. I hope you enjoyed my tree skirt video and learn something new about different ideas for different holidays of how to use fabrics and make a very special tree skirt to go around the bottom of your tree. Like I said before, when I put up my Halloween tree this year, I'll be sure to show you. It'll have my tree skirt under it and all my awesome decorations that I found to decorate my Halloween tree, which I do have to give credit to Bill. It was actually his idea to do this tree last year and it turned out really awesome and it was really really fun so i'm really excited to show that to you it's not quite time to put the halloween tree up yet but it will be here soon enough so thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed my video if you missed my last craft video you can click over here to watch it if you're new to the channel make sure you click over here to subscribe so that you don't miss any of our awesome videos thanks again for watching bye Bye! Yeah, she went and do my Barbie dolls and bikini summer tree <laughs> video. <laughs>